So, my name is Parker Yui. Um I'm 23 years old. I'm from London. I was born here in London. I was raised here in London. Both of my parents are of Nigerian descent, so that's kind of a big part of my upbringing and a big part of the, the music. I started music in 2009 professionally, working with Chipmunk. I've just been doing the same thing every single day since then, kind of up until now. And yeah. The connection with Nikki, well, I managed by a gentleman named F.A. F.A. of Ben. Um, F.A. is great friends and works closely with G. Robertson, who represents Nikki Minaj. And so it's the same circle of people. And Nikki got wind of my music and heard the music, and she was like, Yeah, I like this kid. And at the time, other people were interested. We were meeting like people from the rock and people from overseas and people from here, people from there. And it was like there was a lot of interest in the project. But Nikki was the only person that I kind of just connected with, and it just felt like I'm hanging here with my friend and someone who actually believes in the project, as opposed to someone who just wants to, you know. I didn't want to go with a male because I felt like there could be kind of conflict in egos and stuff like that. With Nikki, it's just. She's just like my sister right there, so yeah, I think that was the best the best lane to go down. Yeah, as I said, I've been making music since like 2009, and London is a very small place, so my peers have been like all the artists and the musicians that are big over here, and obviously I've seen where they've come from, where they get to and the situations they find themselves in once they've had all the success over here and they kind of want to take it to the next level and it's like everybody wants to go from here to America and so when I was making the music and kind of working on the sound and coming up with what I wanted it to be I really worked on something that I felt everybody across the world could kind of listen to and kind of take something from it not something that just British people would understand or just African people will understand, or just American people will understand. I wanted it to be like something international, and America is the stage for the kind of for the music industry. I'll say, England, we've got we've got like a great scene over here, but it doesn't translate and get as big as most of the art artists want it to to get. So yeah, so going to America is just really just going for it, as opposed to going and then veering off want to go for the, for the main goal and then it's still like that yeah but I'm gonna treat you real different on time you know I love it when we kick it you got a girl and she looks just like a mother you better tuck her in it's going down tonight it's been difficult because when it comes to music, in my case, it's very mental. It's a mental thing. And as a producer, as a good producer, your job is to bring out the best in other people. You might get an artist that comes into you and they're like at a certain stage and they need to work with you and they need to develop and they need great songs. And to then become the artist, it's like that all has to go on inside your head. like. The development has to be within yourself and you need to know when something's good you need to know when something's bad and kind of just building that confidence and building that trust in yourself has been the main issue for me but apart from that it's been great 
It's been really great. It's been really fun. I mean, I've got someone like Nikki who can give me great advice and who's kind of done it all on the, the artist side of things. And I've been lucky enough to, to meet someone like Quincy Jones and be in contact with someone like him and then also give me great advice on the production side of things. So it's been, it's been an interesting transition, very interesting transition. The track I'm most proud of is my track, my own track, just I'm proud of it. Um, I've been working on my thing for a minute now, I feel, and I've been producing for years and years and years. I feel that my track is like the first time I'm fully responsible for the music. I mean, with like the Chip stuff and the Jesse stuff, it's like, if someone don't like the song, they're just gonna be like, ah, oh, we don't like that Jesse J song. With this, it's like, we don't like that Parker song, and I'm responsible for everything. Um, the biggest record, for me, mm, it's probably Hell Yeah, because it just kind of solidified my thing with Nikki and made people aware of me overseas, and that's more important to me than any amount of sales or any kind of certification because there are songs that just do things for you that might not kind of turn into directly into money or into like success or acclaim but they make people aware of you and kind of get you in certain places and to certain doors and i feel like hell yeah was that track and making the song it was really fun the, the time in the studio was really really interesting with Nikki. I felt like I learned a lot from her because I went from being like this kid in the UK, kind of working over here in the UK, into like working at the top level. And I thought I was good enough, but there was so many things that I had to kind of get together. And just through that process of making that song, I learned so much. So I'd say the biggest song, um, hell yeah, hell yeah. In the States, everyone's been so positive. They've been really welcoming. Like even within the industry, everyone's been cool. Over here, everyone's been just wonderful and they've just been supportive and kind of just wanting the best for me. And this is obviously where it all started over here. Um, but in Africa, they've just been, they've just been going crazy. Um, I don't think there's been an artist that has kind of represented Africa and the UK and made it on an international kind of front, so there's a lot of support from everyone and I've been really positive about it. Alright, so I'm working with Grace, Grace Sewell, she's 15, she's from Australia, originally from the UK, from from Bristol, she's great, we've been working on her project. Um, Nicki Minaj, the forthcoming album, I think it'll be her, her third third album. I've been working on that with some great ideas I've got for that. Um, I can't wait for you guys to hear that in particular because I love working with Nikki and the stuff just sounds insane. Um, in addition to that, I've been working with a girl called Tinashe. She's from California. Um, she's with RCA Records over in the States and she's, she's real fun to work with. Um, that's another thing I can't wait for you guys to hear. Um, yeah, I'm excited about all of it. Seems like I'm just working with girls. Um. Working on dead girl, I know your body aching. Gonna love you right, girl. I've been thinking, I've been waiting. Need you real bad, throwing on me, I can take it. When I be in the trap, you're the girl I'm missing. Oh, got my lady, baby, I don't need nothing. Scared to love, I know by you, homie, when we're f no. I'ma treat you real different.
lucky, lucky enough to meet um, Sting at a party in the States. That's my dream. That would be a dream come true to work with, to work with him. I don't know how it would work, what process would be, but I think that's what makes me want to work with him even more. Um, I'd love to work with Sting. In terms of artists who are like more closer to what I do, or let's say who are like really active now and kind of in the early stage of their career, I'd love to work with Delilah. Um, I think she's really dope. Yeah, um, the blah blah blah, Grace. Um, just developing eyes, finding new talent, and just always keeping inspired. So that's that's what the next twelve months are all about. For me. For life.